I took some folks crappy fishing today. Um, it's mid February. We had a had a really good day yesterday and went back today and had to deal with the wind. And everyone knows fishing. Every day's a little bit different. Every situation is different. Um, but I just couldn't catch these fish on the jigs. I couldn't control them well enough to cast. The wind was blowing the boat around, so we had to improvise. And um, I pulled out um, a technique that's a ton of fun. I love to do it and, and probably don't use it enough, but this is something you can do from your dock, from a boat, and you can do it anywhere. We pulled out slip corks. The folks that I was fishing had never seen this before, didn't understand it, um, and a lot of people have it, but it is a ton of fun. Everyone that loves to fish has something in them to watch a cork go down that, that that's very, very satisfying. Um, but the way a slip cork works, typically when you fish a cork, you can't fish it any deeper than the length of the rod because you have to cast it. But with a slip cork, the cork actually slides up and down the line. And there is a little knot right there that you put on your line and you tie it down. It comes in a kit. And then it has a bead and the line actually goes through the cork. You have to have a weight. You can fish this with a jig head. It just has to be heavy enough to pull the line through the cork, but the cork will slide up and down. The fish we were catching today were anywhere from 12 to 16 foot deep. And you can fish this thing as deep as you want. Um, you just have to set it with that knot. The knot just slides up and down. It's already in my guides right there. And you just reel it down, cast it out. We're fishing a five and a half foot rod and fishing, like I say, 12 to 16 foot deep today is how we were catching them. And I was actually throwing out, letting the cork drift up next to a dock. And we couldn't get there because it was too rough. The waves would beat the boat up and we'd crash the dock. But we let it drift up. When it get next to the dock, obviously the cork goes down. We got a, a crappy. I think we kept 28. Um, so we had a nice morning, a good mess of fish and a good time. But um, if you live on the lake, you got docks, wherever, um, try this off your dock. I think you, you'll enjoy slip cork fishing and it's, it's a, a ton of fun and very effective.